What up, Laker Nation? Here's your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow, let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all you guys a shout out, man. You guys been great. You guys been very patient. You guys very understanding, man. Um, I haven't been really going live. I don't know what's going on with my uh, stream yard with my computer. I only could go live when I'm, you know, can't add nobody. Not with the stream yard, the, the YouTube live. But um, you guys been very patient. I definitely want to give you guys a shout out. Uh, I saw a lot of my Laker family in the comment section on the Beat 139 interview last yesterday. That was was out of this world interview yesterday. And on Wednesday, we had an out of this world interview on the Beat 139. You guys been great. Y'all been very supportive. Appreciate that. Um, the season is creeping around, and we are gonna talk basketball. And like I said, some. I got a lot of things that I'm working to try to get this channel really popping. So I want to come out right when we do the live and then we want to be consistent here and on. But I want to talk about this, man. And this is more comment based video and what's your guys' opinion because there's really no right or wrong answer. I'm asking you guys. This what I really want to save this for a live, but it, I'm, I've been trying to go live, but we could always do this again. Um, who out of all the new Lakers, who do you think gonna have the biggest impact of the Lakers? Now, this is what we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the rookies. We got Jalen Hood Safino, you got Max Lewis, then um the, the veteran signings, you have Gabe Vincent, Cam Reddish, Torian Prince, and um Jackson Hayes. See the thing is the one of the main thing I really want to wait for this to see who's gonna be the 14th spot. Like you know, um, there's a lot of different, you know, things. Javel McGee name popping up. The Lakers just patiently waiting for Christian Wood. Um, what I'm hearing that they feel Christian Wood, they he spikes their chances up to winning the championship. And this is what the Lakers plan is to having another um, athletic big next to Anthony Davis. And the closing moment, they they feel that Anthony Davis, when he roams in, in that weak side, uh, help defender the shot blocker, it make the Lakers that much dangerous. And to have someone at that size that can play on the court with him in the fourth quarter, that's crucial. So the Lakers, I'm hearing that they're going to wait. You know, I was going to do a separate video, but you guys been great. Let's just get it all in one shot. I'm um, hearing the Lakers going to wait all the way down to Chris, Christian Woods. They, they got there's a few options that they like um, that they will settle on. They feel it, the gap is not that big of a difference. Like let's say Christian Wood off the board, anything else whoever they have to settle for, it it is worth the wait. When I'm hearing it falls like the Javale McGee's, the Tristan Thompson, the uh, the Ubre Gabag. I forgot how to pronounce his name. And a few other guys that's that's out there, they feel that's going to be out there remaining. I'm hearing that um, don't rule out Boogie Cousins. I'm hearing that he's in good shape and he's in contact with, with Anthony Davis. And um, the Lakers has not ruled out Boogie Cousins. It's more of a wait and see thing. I've been hearing a lot of information, but I really want to wait to the right time to really it, to get to it. But um, Boogie Cousins... And a few other guys, they feel Christian Wood is a big drop-off. So once Christian Wood sign or whatever, if he don't sign with the Lakers, the Lakers will make the decision. It's not happening right now. So that's why I'm not going to be the one who come pay this making up um, rumors and just talking just to be talking. I, I know some of you guys will rather I just be more active, but I, I just can't do that. I can't cap for you guys. I build up my um, reputation for you know being solid and i'm hearing this is dead and like i said it's only it's christian woods at the heel of the board the lakers will sign someone immediately unless they get a straight confirmation that he's not signing with them and that happened hasn't happened yet what has been saying that you know um he's open and he he weighing his options he the report about the miami heat um my people said they ain't hear nothing that is guaranteed that he wants to uh, go to Miami. Miami definitely a strong option as along with the Lakers playing um, either or. They just want to be in the best situation and want to talk to 
the coaching staff um, far as to put him in the best situ situation to succeed. Um, I'm most saying Christian Wood is motivated by finances because we all know that once you get that minimum contract, it's hard to shake that. So they that's something that they're really not um, trying to do. Um, yeah, so this video a little longer than what I thought because I was going to bring something about Kelly Oubre. I'm talking about Kelly Oubre in another video. But who do you guys think going to have the biggest impact? Um, I'm going to just break down the guys' game real quick and, you know, tell you guys how what I think. Now, when it comes to a guy like Jalen Josefino, he's really not going to get off the court much unless it's an injury. But good news, I ain't going to say good news. But guys, D'Lo has a history. He he's not a, he hasn't shown that he's an 82 game guy. So D'Lo in his the history, his career, he's been missing games. So Josefino has a strong chance of getting some minutes there. So it's possible he has an NBA body. Um, he played pretty much under control. Um, you just never know what can happen. You know what I mean? When some guys some guys miss games, you know. Um, that's why they say like in football, the quarterback miss games, backup quarterback come in and may play good for two straight Sundays. He's in a he's in a good shape. But um Max Lewis, I don't see him really I think he's gonna spend a, um, you know, half the time in the G League. Um, I really don't see him getting any any minutes because the Lakers have so much depth at his position, so I don't really see him getting any minutes. Um, so I don't think he don't have too much of a factor. Then you got Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish definitely have a, a, a good chance because he could play the two and the three. He got some chances to play. Then he's super talented. He bring a skill set that no other player on the Lakers bring. So that that's what's going to help him. His skill set, nobody else do. Like I said, talent-wise, skill set-wise, he's the most... Oh, she almost killed that squirrel. He, the most talented player. So he has a chance of playing on that note just because, like I said, he's tall. So if the Lakers going to small lineup, having him in there playing a certain position, you might uh, tinker with him. I'm hearing that he want to prove his playmaking skills, um, ball handling skills, um... He spoke with uh, Magic Johnson, and he he really loved to be a, a six eight point guard. But um, Cam Reddish is really doing a lot of little twinkling with his game, and he has a real good chance of being a major impact for the Lakers. Then you have Gabe Vincent. He's strictly the backup point guard for D'Lo. But the thing is, what I said about Josefino. Now he has a, a chance of really because. The things with Gabe, he could play alongside D'Lo. So it's not like D'Lo playing uh, 30 minutes and he only going to get 18. That's not going to happen because D'Lo can – he's a good size uh, guard and he could switch over and play um, – move over to the two while Gabe Vincent coming at the one. So he got a great, great chance. I Actually, he has – the greatest chance of succeeding. He put it this way: he gonna have the most opportunity. Put it this way: out of all of them, Gabe Vincent gonna have the most opportunity as far as minutes and a ball in his hand to anybody. He has the greatest chance to succeed. Um, then you got uh, Torian Prince, um, Ralphie he bring a, a dimension, tough, hard nose. He play hard, um, a constant role player that a lot of coaches like that coaches normally play guys like that some minutes but um he's not gonna really wow you he pretty much gonna be steady off may have a good game with 17 points but then he, he more gonna hop around like the eight or nine points a game more of the consistency i think he'll bring but i don't think he's gonna be the guy that's gonna have that biggest impact on the lakers i don't i don't think he's going to have it but i think he's gonna be solid and, and constantly in the rotation then you got jackson hayes the wild card. Now, if Christian Woods, see, he is more aligned with Christian Woods. Now, Christian Woods signed with the Lakers. It definitely 
will hamper his chance because now his minutes going to drop down because the way it looked like, and I'm just going by history, I could see Darvin Ham with that Anthony Davis, um, Christian Woods, then you got Braun. Braun going to be playing a lot of power forward. So that them center minutes is going to be like this. It's going to um, go down quick. So I think that's – he hurts – um, Jackson Hayes more than anybody because if Christian Wood, like I said, he played him, then he got him and AD and Braun, I could see them doing a lot of rotate AD playing a, some center minutes, Woods playing center minutes, and, and Jackson Hayes going to get crumbs. But if Jackson, if, if, if Christian Woods don't sign and they have to get a JaVale McGee, uh, Biombo, Tristan Thompson, a guy like that, he can – possibly have a tremendous big impact because remind you throughout his career they never had passes like the Lakers had the Lakers have some good passes on a team to get them the ball Lakers I could easily think of like three to four people could easily give them the ball better than they had in New Orleans guys like CJ McCollum looked to score first and he just not a, a good uh passer and Brandon Ingram like I said he a good passer far as a wing but he missed a lot of games due to injury and his more they brought him there to score but Jackson Hayes I could see Lob City running the floor I can really see him he has a chance to really really making a big splash but like I say he's predicated to what happens with Christian Wood so that's why I said video like this I would have loved to go into more if we had that center position locked down but it's not locked down so it is what it is so like, comment, share, subscribe. Run the numbers up, man. I'm telling you, man, this is going to be the channel to be on. Y'all know my knowledge is A1, day one. So hit them subscribers up heavy. And hit that like button. Peace.